2014 Jeep Wrangler V6. I'm gonna check if the radiator is leaking. If it is, we're gonna replace it. Alright. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna have to remove this. All this. All this stuff. I'm gonna blow it with air and see if uh, does it look like uh, it's coming from here or something. Okay, I'm gonna blow it with air, you know, and check. Uh, so I'm gonna have to remove this guy right here, all this, okay? So we have space. Okay, so eight millimeter for these clamps. Right here too. 10 millimeter here. Good. Check with the sensor here. Sensor here. Go ahead, just squeeze it here. It should come out just like that now. Put in there. Let's look at the other ones. It's only three. There you go. Being a dickhead. Now we have more space to uh there's uh eight millimeter here. Oh there you go, okay. Shit, it's full. Shit, so I removed the bowl from here. Okay, there's one over here with a eight millimeter. And then there's another one here, but I have to remove that one with a swivel or something. Let's see if I can do it with a swivel. There he is. Don't drop that. Okay. This guy gotta come out now. Now we have more space now. You see that? You see how this part right here? It's leaking down there. You see, you see it dripping right here in the corner. This and this guy over here. To make it easier, I'm going to spray some WD 40. Okay. WD 40 over here too.
deep it's got. They have two bolts here, one here, maybe at the bottom, and one here. Right here. Okay, I gotta do this one too. The same as I did that one. I'm gonna do it over here with this one. It has like pins here, 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 here. Then when you go to the side to here, you're gonna hit this with a with a uh, with a plier, long nose needle plier. Okay. Now you pull it a little bit more, pull it a little bit more like this. You have this face to hit those just like this. Okay. This one just just push it down like this, and then pull it towards you. Pull it towards you going to come out because you want to do that because this bolts right here okay you see them or you can hit them through here you see that and there's one more over here okay that's the whole idea all right now you can remove this Okay, push it like that. Now push this guy right here. The other way. You can, do, you can just do that if you don't have time. I want the whole thing. Okay, hit that guy over there. You know what I'm saying? Can you see it? two here there's one here and one here you see it right there okay eight millimeter I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two guys okay. I'm doing that. okay okay So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it so it get out the nail. Lift this guy right here. Okay. Just you see. Here it is free to go. Run, okay. Let me just pull it out, okay. Once you hit this bolt, this bolt, this two, and this two right here, there's another one here. And there's another one here okay here and here just so you know on this side you're gonna have to go through here so you can hit this one and push the the the, the horn push the horn so you can get to this one okay this guy right here it's gonna it's gonna get it stuck here when you wanna pull it out, okay? So you you're gonna pull it out, right? But it's gonna be like this, so you're gonna have to push it. You're gonna push it like that, okay? So the shit come out. That's pretty much it. Okay, get it. Look at this. 
rotten. Okay, you don't need you don't need to transfer nothing from here to, to this one. Okay, you're just gonna like put it the way it is. All right, because it comes with everything. Okay, make sure this is close. Okay, that's it. Let's just put it back. Put it back and that's it. All you're gonna do is first set those guys. Okay here this guy is gonna end up there okay let me just help you out better with this hope you can see better okay see this guy right here this guy gotta go over there okay this guy have to, have to sit over here in a second this guy gotta be there. This guy gotta be there. Okay. And then this guy's gonna be there. But first, I wanna put the bolts so it hold it in position. You know what I'm saying? Just so it holds it in position, okay? Put in the fluid now. Orange cooling. Okay, this guys. Now, put it all the way in hot. Yep, just like that, okay? Mats all the way hot. Just the, uh, to the face, not feet. Not feet, not feet and face. Just only for the face, okay? Now, let it run for a minute. Until it gets hot, top off the coolant. Coolant temperature 111, 111, 113, so it's going up. Okay, it started getting warm. See those bubbles? Okay, it's getting warmer. It's 163 degrees. Say 165, right? The air is starting getting warmer. The needle is getting in the middle. I'm just gonna put the cap on. Let it do uh, its thing. The radiator is hot now. So I'm gonna let it run. I'm saying, put everything back and. See how it goes. Okay. So far, so good. Now it's blowing more hot air. It's at a 183 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Okay. 
okay? We're doing good. Alright uh, guys, I'm not gonna hold you up. I hope you like the video of how to replace the radiator in this vehicle and uh, I hope you enjoy also. Uh, before I go, I just wanna give shout outs to uh, my subscribers. Thank you for the love, thank you for the support, thank you for the help. What would I be without you? You know what I'm saying? Other than that, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video, and the feedback. You know what to do with it. Put it in the comment box for me. Let me know what you think about this project. Let me know what you think about this Jeep. Let me know what you think about this vehicle. You know what I'm saying? If it, if it is reliable, if you don't like it, if, if so many things you can put in the comment box uh, let me know okay so I'm just gonna leave it right here and I catch you on the next one all right I like you boy I'm a stool I'm clacking now I'm out the end